When they said that this was going to be a prequel, <laughs> I had something totally different in mind. What's going on guys? I'm Jay Glare and welcome to my channel. And today we're talking about Black Widow. It was released in theaters in the US on July 9th and became available to stream on Disney Plus for the price of $29.99 for premiere access. Now, if you're one of those folks that wants to watch this film for free, eh, you're gonna have to wait a while. All right, this is ridiculous. I'm taking this off. Black Widow stars Scarlett Johansson, reprising her role as Natasha Romanoff, AKA Black Widow, of course. And she's joined by Florence Pugh, David Harbour, who you'll recognize from Netflix series, Stranger Things, and Rachel Weisz, who you'll recognize from the beloved Mummy series. We follow Natasha Romanoff as she's plunged back into a dark part of her past as she's pursued by a deadly assassin. And I gotta say, the story was pretty decent. I loved the film. There was some things that were a little disappointing. Now, they said this was a prequel, which I thought we'd be plunged into more of her past. Her time in the Red Room, uh, her time as a child in the Red Room, her training, and how she defected to S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers Initiative, which we did get a little bit of that, but it was basically just our toes being dipped into that part of her past and not really the whole shebang, you know? That was pretty much the most disappointing part of it to me. When they say prequel, I think actual prequel. Well, this, but this is more of a look into her time before she became an Avenger, but not that much. I had a good time watching this film. It was very action packed, had a car chase scene, which you can't go wrong with in an action film, of course. And the fight sequences were great. The fight sequences looked clean. And there was one scene in particular, which I'll get more into in my spoiler review, that just was brutal and gritty and you could actually feel the punches and everything that was happening. <laughs> and it, it felt personal. It didn't feel like a, a fight between two assassins, but it was definitely a lot more hardcore than what I thought it was going to be. David Harbour's character was pretty funny. Uh, there was a lot of comedy in this film, but it was hit or miss. There wasn't really a lot of laugh out loud moments in the film, at least to me. Uh, I chuckled a little bit, but it wasn't, you know, boisterous laughing throughout the film. Some of the jokes were a little bit corny, I'll say, but I just, I couldn't really get with the comedy as much in this film as I probably would in maybe a an Avengers film or, you know, Iron Man. <laughs> but... Yeah, the comedy kind of fell flat a little bit. The characters and the acting, it was all phenomenal, especially between Florence Pugh and Scarlett Johansson's characters. I watched the film twice in one night, and I got to say I really enjoyed the film. Uh, it was a, a little less than what I expected, but overall it was great. Uh, Taskmaster was... A badass character, relentless and just <laughs> on a mission, really. And it was interesting how Kevin Feige and the director chose to handle Taskmaster. Uh, again, I'm not going to spoil anything. This is a spoiler free review. There was some CGI in the film, and there were parts where it was just. It could have been rendered a little bit better. Uh, there was a lot of uh, unbelievable sections in this film that required CGI. And with the rendering of some characters and facial expressions and hair, you could definitely tell that it was CGI. And it was not up to par with, say, 
Avengers CGI or the uh, CGI for Endgame and Infinity War. It looked a little cartoony, a l just a little bit. And I know that you know with CGI, it can <laughs> it can make or break a film at times. It didn't quite break this film, but it just it didn't really sit well with me when I saw those parts that had CGI and it just didn't look clean. It didn't look good. Oh, we did touch a little bit on Budapest and Clint Barton throughout the film. It was sprinkled in, but I wanted to see more of that. But who knows? Maybe we'll get a sequel to this prequel. I don't know. I, but who knows what the what the timeline is going to be and if, if it's even on Kevin Feige's mind right now. I, he has a master plan and I trust his plan. He's done so well thus far with this Marvel Cinematic Universe that I feel as if he can do no wrong <laughs> with the Marvel characters and the story. I was hoping to get a little bit more of, as I said, Natasha Romanoff's past in this film. It's supposed to be a sequel, or not a sequel. It's supposed to be a free, it's supposed to be a prequel, right? So, you know, I expected prequel qualities in this film, which we didn't really get much of. Overall, I enjoyed the film and it's a great story. I loved the fact that we got at least a glimpse into Natasha Romanoff's past and seeing her as a child. We didn't really get much story behind her as a child and her training in the Red Room, but you know, it wet our whistle and we got the story that we received. My verdict for Black Widow is a solid four out of five. Now, it's not a bad film. It is a good time. It's action packed, has some comedy, but um, yeah, I just expected a little bit more. It's not really a five out of five for me, but enough of me rambling. Let me know what you guys thought. Have you seen Black Widow yet? Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video to YouTube. I'll be doing more movie reviews, more TV series reviews. I'll get back into doing my 3D modeling and some unboxings, um, maybe. <laughs> Things have been a little tight lately, but you know, I'm working with it, I'm handling it. And I'm getting back into the swing of things of recording for YouTube and doing Twitch. Oh, speaking of which, if you don't know, I do have a Twitch channel and I play various horror games there, uh, mostly games of the past. <laughs> well, not too far in the past anyway. Currently, I'm playing The Evil Within on Horror Madness Mondays. And on Fridays, I'm playing Detroit Become Human. So if you're interested, be sure to check that out. Follow me. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that you're notified of some things that I'm doing. But let me know your guys' thoughts on the movie. Did I miss anything? And what would you like to see more of on my channel? Until next time, guys, be safe, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.